Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are back with another episode of Battletech. And if you missed the last episode, then, well, we we came to this system, and I believe this system's named Itrum, and we freed this system from the clutches of the Directorate. And I believe her name was Lady Gallus. Gave us some information to go on that might might give us uh, a chance of severing the ties, the alliance that is formed between the Directorate and the, Con uh, the Torian Concordat. But we're not going to be doing anything um, regarding that directly. As is the case, uh, Kamea Arano is going to call on us when she needs us. So we are left with the the task of finding work. Now, I'm not really wanting to grind up anymore. I think we've kind of done as much power seeking as we need to, but I would like to find us kind of an interesting contract because, you know, I we've got some pretty powerful mechs now and I would like to find that out. Um, I did put one more ton of ammo. I fit that into the King Crab because I felt like he doesn't have a whole lot of ammo. We sacrificed just a scotch of armor. And the Stalker, we sacrificed a little bit of armor. We put that, uh, we put that LR, that nice new LRM-20 uh, on there in place of just a stock LRM-20. And we put those, uh, we put that nice LRM-15++ that gives us two extra damage, which is actually a huge increase on that. It's a 50% damage increase over uh, the standard LRM-15, but we actually replaced the LRM-10s with it. So we stripped off a little bit more armor on that. So we definitely have to make sure that the Stalker stays out of the fight. It's also gonna build up a little bit uh, of heat faster, but it's five more missiles. And uh, not only is that five more missiles, but that's a really powerful LRM-15 that we strapped on there. So the Stalker is gonna be doing more damage for us as well. So in terms of finding us a place to go, I was looking around at the star map because I didn't really love any of the contracts that were here and the only place that really seems like it would be a good place to go would be Mechter which we were already hanging out in Mechter and this uh, Bringdom place I think we may have already gone to Bringdom I can't remember but uh, Bringdom seems kind of interesting it's got this battlefield trait here it says the world is the site of one of the many battles of the past five centuries the wreckage and technology can still be found here so there might be some good uh, you know pieces and components that we can buy there. I've got like four million sitting around so that might be nice um, and um, You know the other the other thing is it's got the um, It's got the black market there uh, So I think we're going to travel there and just shell out the 60 grand I think we're gonna do that now another thing I do have like four million if we do get the six point something million and and you know enough extra such that I'm um, uh, capable of capable of staying afloat I wouldn't mind actually buying another Gauss rifle and this is kind of what I would think about doing with it I would probably stick the standard Gauss rifle on the Atlas and turn the atlas into um you know something of more of a medium uh medium range uh, uh medium range slash brawler something like what the highlander's doing because i think that our mech warriors are more kitted out for that so i would put it in place of the ac20 on the atlas and then maybe switch the LR, uh, the SRM-6s that are on there for more of an LRM loadout. So it has uh, long range missiles, the Gauss rifle, and the still keep the medium lasers on there. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe swap that around a little bit. And then put the nice AC-20 that it has, put it in one of the AC-20 slots on the, on the King Crab. And that would be kind of how that would shift around. So the King Crab is really the the one, uh, the one you know super tank that we have, and then move those uh, move those other guys back. Okay, so we're really good on morale unless we were to take a hit, 
you know, we could we could lose. Actually, we could lose two more. You know, we're at 42. We could lose one morale and still be here. So maybe we should build one more of these things. You know, so we're so we're comfortable. That's real. I mean, I really want to stay up here. I really want to stay up here. It's it's been. I mean, it was so good. That was the. We've only done one mission with with full morale, but I like it and I like it a lot. So we don't want to lose that. Um, our other options would really be to start working on um, the uh, the power system and the drive. And I'm not I'm not really. I'm not really feeling that right now. Not really. F you know what? We don't... Barring something that would hit our morale, I don't think we really need it. Um, so... I think we can I think we can handle that so maybe you know maybe I will go ahead and do that I will go ahead and do that because it's not like we need any of this other stuff right now so yeah I will go ahead and do that how about it how about it because in the event that this event in the event that we actually do have a lot more traveling to do it will be nice to have this stuff have the uh, power conduit and this drive um, that w we will really uh, I think enjoy those uh, additional upgrades So, because most of the refitting and repairing that we've been doing on mechs has been going like really fast. I've got the financial report. So I, mean, I haven't been too. Oh man, we're spending an awful lot of money right now. So we could spend another two hundred grand really quick and give us that extra morale, and that would really that would give us a little bit more of a buffer there. I think I will do that. I think I will do that. Because I, you know, I was a little bit concerned about it. Not not super concerned, but concerned enough to spend the two hundred grand. I know we are spending an awful lot of money. We're getting away from that six million that I would really like to get. Um, I could sell my awesome mech and my battle master, and probably come up with about two million there. I think each one of those would give me roughly a million. Um, but you know, we would still have a decent bit left. Happy birthday. You bump into Medusa in the corridor and notice that he is un in unusually high spirits. What's new, you ask him. Medusa grins. I don't want to make too big a deal out of this, but today's my birthday. Uh, the lounge. Let's throw a party in the lounge. Okay, check this out. Uh, that evening, you invite Medusa to a small party in the lounge with senior staff and a few mech warriors in attendance. You say some flattering things about him, then General Acclaim summons Medusa to rise and give a speech. After a couple of hours of food, music, and light drinking, the party starts breaking up and everyone wanders off in a pleasant mood. Nice. Later that evening, you find a thank you note from Medusa on the door of your personal quarters. Apparently, your gesture meant the world to him. Okay, so we got an extra morale there, and he gained uh, high spirits. We haven't been taking him out on missions. I mean, maybe we could. Maybe we even should. Um, our mech warriors right now, I mean, we'll just do a really, really quick look through here. Yes, I mean, Commander. look at these guys. They're they're really doing great. Like, um, you know, we're, we're very close to maxed out um, with, with uh, Behemoth. Um, Blave is really high up here. Sorry, something came up. It IRL as it were and I had to deal with that but anyway I, I think I was saying that my mech warriors uh, these four guys the ones that I started out with basically are pretty good their skills are like super duper high uh, so uh, and, and these these dudes are pretty far behind so taking him out just because he has high spirits um, I don't know I may or may not do that when we when we arrive at our destination, we will blow that bridge up when we get to it in six days. Six days. I mean, hopefully we find a contract. As I was saying in the last one, I think right now that I'm only really interested in uh, like four and a half and five skull missions. 
uh, at least uh, for recording purposes, just because I, I really think that we will just completely obliterate slash steamroll everything else. I could be wrong. Uh, you know, I might be asking for something that is a little bit more than uh, I can handle. Okay, let's have a look at the actual store here. Okay, nothing in the store. Let's look at the black market. It looks like the black markets... This... Okay, so this black market's a little bit different than the one that I was dealing with before. AC10++++. That's quite good. What is an exchanger? Ooh. Now that's a very interesting piece of equipment. Minus 20% weapon heat. Um, that's four tons. I would have to do some math, but it seems to me that that could potentially be well i don't know i mean that's the that's the cost of like four um four heat sinks i don't know about that that's yeah but minus 20% minus 20% of the heat that you're generating though at the same time though that's actually that's actually really, really good sounding. Uh, let's have, let's take a really quick look at um, one of our hottest mechs. In fact, I think the Stalker might be the hottest mech that we have. I'm not positive. If it generates 64 heat. It would, it would, um, it would generate 12 less in a turn. Like, it would generate 12 less per, right? Am I doing that math? A little bit more than 12, I guess. Uh, maybe 12 or 13, depending on how that math is done. But you're sacrificing four of these heat sinks for it. Um... So you would be sacrificing 12, uh, the ability to give up 12. So in this one, I think that that efficiency, I think that the efficiency is not justified in this particular mech. So I think that you have to have, you'd have to have more, uh, heat being generated. Um, 70... Um, 20% would be, um, four, uh, right, 14, right? Because 10, 10 is 7, so yeah, 14. It maybe becomes a little bit more compelling. Although, we've got a one-ton, uh, double heat sink here. Let's see, do, do either of the other mechs that we're taking out generate more heat than that okay now this one actually it actually might make sense on the atlas it might make sense on the atlas because we're talking about um, 16 possibly 17 heat that it would be sinking and we could get rid of four heat sinks and drop it on there so it actually might make perfect sense on the atlas um and and help us help us out would would uh, would give us a net better uh heat sinking uh situation i don't know what the crab um what the crab was like i don't think that the crab was too bad yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna help the crab out not gonna help the crab out, but it might help the atlas out. So that's definitely a piece of equipment to keep our eyes on. Um, I don't know if I don't know if you guys find that kind of stuff interesting. I find that I find all that stuff to be like super interesting. That's that's what really 
kind of gets me going about this stuff. So this this particular system does not have um, does not have a Gauss rifle in it. That being said, we know that there is one on. We know that there is one on. Uh, was it Mector? We know that there's one on Mector, and then we know that there's one on was it Itrum? A Gauss rifle. Um, both of them were the plus plus variant uh, that had the same stats. So, if, if unless this inventory changes, which it might, um, we can go back to the black market there if we get our six million. Now let's go ahead and check out uh, the contracts here and see if they've got anything that is attractive to us. I wouldn't mind generating some revenue. Okay, so we've got a five-star escort mission. Ooh, escorts. We haven't really done that. Ooh, destroy base kind of sounds nice. Kind of sounds fun. Ooh, assassination missions. Assassination missions can be um, can be lucrative because they offer us an opportunity to capture uh, a good mech. You know, we will we will have um, we'll have a a good mech. Like, this is a guaranteed good mech uh, in this one. So I would definitely take um, a bunch of salvage over over funds. I would take at least three salvage. So we would be able to um, get, you know, hopefully at least two, maybe even three components out of that good mech. And even if I don't want the mech, I could sell it for, you know, if it's a, if it's an assault mech, probably about as much as this would uh, would pay me. So uh, I think that that's going to be a good a good way to go. So we could go for three. Uh, let's just go for. Th we could go for four because a lot of these times there have been really good components too. There have been really really good components. We could even sell some of those on the black market and get some good money. So I think honestly I think that at this skull difficulty that we're probably going to be better off doing this. Now, I do hate deserts. You, you know that I hate deserts. If you've been watching this series at all, you know I hate deserts. Because um, I just don't... <laughs> I'm too lazy to manage heat. Well, no, it might not be laziness. I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy with the firepower um, to, to make uh, guys that are very, very heat efficient. But anyway, um, I think we go with this because we really want to capture a mech and then if they've got like a really really good weapon because we've been wanting really good weapons uh we want that as well so i want to have my cake and eat it too um and you know we might be able to sell um some good stuff now that we've got access to the black market uh selling stuff is very lucrative i think this is what we go with i i mean i could put medusa in the atlas you know i, I really could and the only the only issue though is that glitch is gonna glitch is gonna be able to nail those called shots in the atlas because we got called shot master called shot master called shot master called shot master and if i'm trying to capture a mech you really want to hit those called shots you know we've <laughs> we've learned that we've learned that uh you know and that's 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 really super important I think that's going to be more important than being able to, uh, you know, get more called shots off. We've got super high morale, so we're going to be able to get off a bunch of called shots anyway. So I, I like this anyway. So once again, Medusa and Hot Rod get to ride the bench. Sorry, guys. Sorry, boys. You get to sit on the sidelines. But, I mean, you know, they got a pretty cushy job. You know, they get to, they get to uh, sit there and collect pay and and um you know be be part of this whole uh be part of this whole thing uh, so we didn't actually read this a former restoration commander backed by directorate forces has set up his own government to avoid any unwanted personnel conflicts and to save our people the stress of fighting their former comrades the Irana restoration requires a merc unit to remove this traitor and keep him from destroying his own people I mean, initiated. I suppose we could do an escort mission just because... Have we done one on this playthrough? I don't know if we have. Um, I think they really do um, prefer you have faster mechs for that. Maybe I should Maybe I should get some 
heavier Mac, uh, some just heavy, not heavier Macs. These are about as heavy as it gets. Some heavy Macs and build a lance that would be um, good for um, good for for speed and mobility because that is not what this is. <laughs> okay. Uh, with the backing of the directorate, this king could prove to be a tough component. Okay, based on that, I'm assuming that we are going up against a king crab. That's just my guess. I, can't, I mean, that I, mean, I can't imagine that it's anything else. He's sure to be... Oh, no, it's a Highlander. Oh, I actually think we've got a couple pieces of a Highlander. If you remember, that was the first... Um, that was the first mission that we took um, our... Um, our Highlander up against, I think. And we fought another Highlander and we got two pieces of it. So I think we actually only need one piece of this thing and we'll get another one. And chances are I'll probably sell it and get some money out of it. So um, keep your eyes open and be ready for a counterattack. So we might want to try to, we might want to try to capture pieces of um, another mech depending on what else they throw at us. I mean, this is four and a half skulls, so we might be dealing with more assault mechs than just the one. Um, but we we have A, we've got an awful lot of firepower to bring to bear, and B, on my way. we've got an awful lot of armor to soak up some damage. So, you know, we, we don't want to get too cocky. Um, you know, you take a couple of hits and uh, and you can get humbled really quick. I were planning an ambush. This is where I'd put it. Uh, thank you for that, Darius. I will try to be, I will try to be alert. You know, one thing, one thing that we do that, that I am, you know, worried about on some of these missions is, Moving to position. is the enemy, you know, dropping a dropship, like, you know, back where, where I'm camping Landed. with, um, where I'm camping with, uh, uh Decker. Because... Uh, that mech cannot take very much damage. Not gonna lie. That, uh... uh Got it. Based, you know, with the, the... Compared to the firepower that we're going up against, they could very easily blow off arms uh, and um, and knock him down, do all sorts of nasty stuff to him that we don't, uh, we don't really want to go into. Okay. Standing by. So, we could... We could ping him. That being said, the only thing we could do is launch some um, some LRMs at him from um, from Blave. I don't know if that's really necessary. So let's go ahead and reserve right now. I wouldn't mind getting in a little closer because sometimes you can spook these assassination targets and they can start to run. So I don't know if I really want to uh, ping him unless we get a little bit closer. Going full speed. Let's okay, hurry up. Whoa, we, we we did get a sneak peek. I don't know if that's gonna set them off or not. Doesn't look like he's um, moving yet. Doesn't look like he's moving. Um, I don't. I really need to get. Um, uh, I really need to get her piloting skill up. I need to start working on that, don't I? Cause she's she's just so slow. They've got a lock on me. I, I I've been working on getting uh, Blaves. Uh, well, basically all of his skills are getting really good now. Um, I don't think there's any reason to sprint right there because that guy will see me, but I won't see him. Um, but uh, I want to get. Uh, a couple of those, a couple of those skills are really nice once you get, once you get them high enough. Like you get, um, okay, yeah, we're taking, we're taking some heat now. Damage is minor. Once you get a high enough um, guts, Orders? you'll get, you'll get stuff like. Um, you get you get more uh, heat um, threshold. You get more overheat threshold, which is really nice. 
I don't know if that's the same variant that we already have. I can't remember all the variants, I gotta be honest. I hear... I hear a... Okay, so we've got an 80-ton let's go, let's go, let's go. vehicle over here. Um, let's reserve with Decker so we can uh, get some shots Reserving off on this action. guy. Part of me wants to let this guy go first, so... Oh, I can't. So you can't reserve in this turn, in go. this phase. Um... Let's see if I can uh, get somewhere where I can see him. There's literally nowhere where I can see him. I guess I can see him here. That's going to be kind of a bummer because we're only going to be able to... Um, Orders. We're only going to be able to... Oh, okay. Now we can jump over here. Is that tr is that tree coverage? It is not, sadly. Ah. I think all of this evasion that she's going to generate will will protect her semi well. I copy. Okay. Um so the question is, do we go for something like a leg and try to knock this guy, uh, uh, take him down? Or do we hope that this is the variant that we already have two of? Do we hope this is the variant that I already have two of? I think it is. I think it is. So we could just tr we could just try to take him out, or we could try to like we could try to blow off one of his legs, and and then um yeah, let's try to blow off a leg. Let's just try to get two pieces of salvage to be safe, and then hopefully I've got a piece of salvage. We could go for the I don't know. Target. We'll just. Okay, we did more damage to the center torso than I would have liked there. That's kind of a bummer. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's not doing anything right now. Um, let's go for it here as well. Here it comes. I think there's a good chance we blow that leg. No, maybe not. Oh man, we came so close. <laughs> that hit something good. <laughs> we came pretty dang close. He's still not going. He's bringing in his friends. They've got a lock on me. Uh, I bet, I'm betting that's an awesome. The 80 tonners are always awesomes, aren't they? That um, he's only got 11 left on that. Um, he's only got 11 left. Oh, okay, I can get up here and shoot with the Gauss rifle. Problem is, we're not... The problem is we can't do called shots right now. I don't know if I actually want to shoot with a Gauss rifle. Um, on account of, I would like this guy to be down. I think there's a chance that my LRM-20s if three of them hit that leg, then he's toast. These two weapons might knock him down, but he'll probably go next and Glitch won't have a chance to... I mean, Glitch isn't going to get close enough to shoot him anyway. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't hit him in the center torso. Okay, good. Come on, three in the leg. Yes. Okay, so we got one leg down. Uh, we'll just have to go after that other leg. I mean, he's going to get right back up, as we know they like to do. <laughs> as I was as I was talking about in the last uh, episode. Um, but he did take damage from that. 
Okay, so... As you can see, he Light does not damage. he does not Holy have a bunch crap. of uh, he does not have a bunch of armor. Um, someone must have sensor locked him. Uh, that's the only thing that um, I can see would Good to go. Uh, would enable would enable something like that to happen. We need to get her down in there. Printing. Okay, that was very good shooting from whoever that was, considering all the evasion that we had. It was very, very good shooting. Okay, we've got a demolisher up here. Uh, we've got a PPC carrier up here. And we've got, so they've got a tremendous, tremendous amount of firepower you. Um, that they have brought to bear against us here. Okay, so we can go after uh, this leg, the, the issue, um, another option would be blowing off this, that would do some damage to him, um, it would do a lot, an awful lot of stability damage to him, um, But as we noticed, we did not do enough damage last time uh, to blow that leg. So we would we would have to hit it again with something else, and we're not going to have any more called shots uh, until next until next round. So I mean, I can get to work on it, I guess. No, maybe maybe I maybe I save my called shots for someone who's going to be able to do more uh, direct damage. I could. I could Okay, let's let's reserve. Let's reserve with him. We don't need to do anything this Waiting second. For my with him. Opening. Okay, cool. Good thing we got that. Um so she can take two more hits to the head before she is uh injured. That being said, the heads are already always pretty weak, so if you've taken you've taken three hits to the head, then uh, you've got to be worried about your head just getting blown up. Uh, anyway, in which case, it doesn't matter how much health you've got, you're going to get killed. Okay, so what's going on over there? Like, how many enemies... How many enemies... do we have? Stand okay, high. so... Um... She... We could jump in here and get some slightly better shots or we could wait what's going on here why oh, can we could take some really good blave might be our best bet for getting that other leg like really really hurt what can i do for you um let's see glitch wow glitch is really just not moving for us, is she? Yeah, I think Blave is our best bet for really, really jacking up that leg. So, I'm gonna do that. Now, no, remember, if we take out both legs, the mech is out of commission. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what, what, uh, what else happens. So, so, if we hit with the Gauss rifle, yeah, I mean, this could, this could really do some very serious damage. Oh, we didn't hit with a Gauss rifle, so that's a no-go. That's a no-go. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, I think maybe we stop screwing around with this guy and, um, and start worrying about defending ourselves because there is an immense amount of firepower coming down on us here that we need to start Good worrying to about. We could maybe give this guy one more turn. That being said, um, I don't know really who else to um, to deal with right now because we 
Apart from me, I could maybe sensor lock this PPC carrier that would give him a minus to hit. Um, Behemoth could fire at this guy. I mean, I, yeah, I, let me let me fire at Behemoth be, or with okay. Behemoth. Um, we might get uh, we might get a leg hit uh, if one of those AC20s hits the leg, and then a couple of those SRM6s, then um, that would really really do some good stuff for us. I wonder if I should jump to once again get us some um get us some evasion also get us a little bit better shots and in addition to that last last but not least uh get us some extra heat sinking i could go up here um our shots are actually good from up here and we're going to get the uh, bonus damage reduction so yeah i think i will do that actually acknowledged <laughs> i love the jump jets on the on the king crab so we won't have the, sadly, we won't have the extra heat sinking up here. Come on, get him in the leg. Yes! Power. Both in the leg! Both AZ-20s in the leg. Couldn't have planned that better. Tango down. That was brilliant. Okay. Now we've got a Zeus coming in. With the breaching shot Reporting. there. Minimal damage. Okay. Waiting for orders. Glitch coming up and not phenomenal shots from down here, but we actually have got her in the battle now, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Missing with the big stick, sadly, but he still did not like any of that. Man, look at all these dudes coming in. Yes, Commander. And we'll give this guy a taste of this. Acknowledge. Yep. He didn't like that at all. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with these freaking vehicles. The vehicles actually, you know, at this point in the game, the vehicles can mount the most firepower. Hot damn. Let's do this. There's the demolisher. Um with his two AC twenties. And his obscene amount of firepower. Um let's do a precision strike on the front armor there. And that should uh, that should get rid of him for us. Firing full complement on enemy. Maybe not. Oh man, he hit him. He hit him in the side there uh, a little bit too much. Yeah. See now, now we're really now we're really gonna be glad that we've got all this armor. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay, we've got to we've got to take out this demolisher before he gets another shot. Jeez. Center armor is starting to to look, well, I mean, it's still got 200 on it. I mean, we have really stacked that thing up. Um Okay, so what are we looking at here? Um, we we are gonna need to move a bit. I am, yeah, I'm gonna move to about here, um, and we're just gonna make sure that that demolisher is toast. I don't love this position otherwise. Yeah, the the front armor of that thing really didn't take a whole lot. The side got splattered. Um, I guess we should have done a called shot on the left. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, so the question is, do we send the uh, LRM twenties and the SRM six? That being said, it looks like we're firing at the right side right now, which sucks. Um, I mean, I guess we've got. 
It really depends what we hit. If we actually hit the right side with this thing, uh, with the Gauss rifle, then it's toast. If we hit its front armor, not so much toast. Uh, you know what? Let's just make sure this thing is toast. I'm gonna I'm gonna blast it with everything. Between everyone else, between everyone else shooting at the Zeus, I'm not concerned with it. I'm not concerned with it. I just don't want to take the two AC-20 shots from that demolisher anymore. Oh yeah, he's getting out of there. Good call, dude. Good call. Um. Ready for orders. Uh, those guys wisely got out of there. They wisely got out of there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and brace. We're in the trees, so we're going to take uh, very little damage uh, if slash when they get into range. Um, and she's also going to sink some heat, so I think that that's going to be good Holding for us. Here. I hear ya. Okay, let's get to work on getting up here. Moving back. Exposing our back a little bit there, but we can take a little bit of back damage. We've we've actually jacked the, the back armor up quite a bit with those. Wow! They can see the stalker from where they are. That shot got past my armor. I, I actually find that pretty incredible. Like, how are they doing that? That seems like he should be out of range. I mean, I'll back him up a little bit. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna back him up. Seems like he should be out of uh, out of their range. Okay, now we're this is directly at their side. Oh, but he's only got sixty percent chance. I wonder why that is. Hmm. I'm not loving that a whole lot. We could. Um, sprint down in here uh, into the water which should get us hopefully uh, so they can't see us anymore I mean that seems like it should be far enough away and that'll help us sink some more heat because he's having some heat issues yeah, let's get, let's get out of there with him. I really don't want to lose that leg. Um, or, you know, or that mech. Okay, yeah. They're still coming in here on this, on, on him. And, you know, it's starting to, it's starting to look a little bit not, not, uh, not peachy. Just the sheer quantity of firepower that's coming in here is not looking great. That being said, if we get through here... I think that we do have pieces of that uh, Highlander, so we should get uh, we should get a Highlander, which will sell for a million, and then uh, and we should only need to grab one piece of it. So um, we might be able. I don't know if we have pieces of a Zeus. We might be able to grab. Um, I think we have some pieces of a Zeus. So maybe if we could grab if we could um, get two pieces of this guy, that would be great because I think we have one piece. I might, I might be getting greedy. That probably is getting greedy. But if we get two max from this that I could sell, oh man, that would be that would be you? really really good. Um, I don't think that she's gonna be able to. Sh oh yeah, she's gonna be able to shoot at the demolisher from here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Because that demolisher is super duper scary. Um, I wonder if I should do a call shot on that right side. Nah, I think, I think that that AC-20 with it, the 120 damage that it's going to do, if it, basically whatever it hits plus everything else should take care of this, this thing. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's, that's a, that's a lot of firepower. Bye -bye. That's a lot of firepower. That being said, Reporting major armor loss. our king crab can only take so much of this. 
before he just is obliterated. So we can't get in. Can we, we can't get any closer, can we? No, we can't. So we're going to be launching. Uh, I could jump down in there and get some extra heat sinking. I think I will. Although we're going to generate more heat from the jump, but we'll we'll sink more. So I think it hopefully will balance out. Um. Shouldn't we need to use um probably vigilance on uh, behemoth? Oh, here comes the Zeus. Man, all these guys have uh, really good abilities. So we're going to use Breaching Shot, possibly, and Precision Strike with her. So uh, not Breaching Shot. <laughs> Vigilance. Vigilance. Precision Strike. Uh, we need to take this guy down. We could just go straight for the center torso. I think that that's what we do because I don't have... Um, sadly, I don't have uh, time to deal with this. Now... That being said, let's look at our positioning here. Our left side is getting a little, um, getting a little bit um, beat up. So I'm gonna move like this and it's gonna kind of spread out um, the damage that we're taking a little bit. And then let's precision strike the center torso of this guy, hopefully. If one of those hits, if one of the AC-20s hits in there, and then the uh, enough of those SRM-6s hits in there, eh, no, we, we actually need both those AC-20s. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. The shot. Yeah, we did it. One okay. At least that guy's obliterated. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Now Ready for we uh, we really really need to defend our Highlander at all costs right now. Quick draw, I'm not concerned about um, the Victor. Is that guy? He is just in cover right now. So I guess let's just let's just fire at him. They've got so much firepower, and they've got that they've got that massive amount of elevation up there. Oh man, we unsteadied him. Hopefully, hold on a second. Hopefully, we can uh, go with Blave very soon. That was not smart. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I'm going to move up here and face these guys uh, and become kind of a, a prime target. Because she's still got a little bit that she can weather, and hopefully we're going to knock this Victor down. That's going to uh, create... A kind of a priority, I think, for him to want to get up. Let's see. We could knock off an arm, maybe? Or do we just go for center torso damage? Yeah, let's go for the center torso damage because I think, one, we, if we hit him, period, he's going to be knocked down, and then we might get an, uh, an opportunity to get a called shot on him. We might. So... Uh, that would be phenomenal. Although these are not great called shots. I'm gonna try it anyway. Firing full complement on this. Okay, we did some really good damage to the center torso there. And he's gonna be knocked down. Solid connection on that one. I think that that was the guy that was spotting my Highlander as well. 
So I don't think that they're gonna, well, no, he's quick draws coming in to do the spotting, so. We need to move, um, we need to move our Highlander back to protect that weapon. <laughs> that's, that's our most valuable piece of equipment that we have, period. Damage. Um, I mean, the, the amount of firepower these guys like have is, is absolutely bonkers. Okay, so we're doing okay, apart from the fact that we are getting wrecked right now. So if I move back here, I could do a called shot there and that is our right arm. So we would want to be facing uh, left. In fact, our left side is looking fine, so we could really, we can really uh, jump up here, which is going to give us some more defense, and it's going to give us much better, uh, much better attack. But you know, really, really favor um, our left side. We are going to have to vigilance. If you look at our stability, we do not want to be knocked down under any circumstance. That is un. That would not work. I mean, because they would definitely blow uh, a bunch of the stuff up. Yeah. So now we're going to take this guy out. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly confident that this will take him out. All weapons committed. I mean, they still have their big stick PPC cannon back there, Remake. which you know we we haven't even you know seen because it's not committing uh, to the battle. Okay, that's. Fine right now our atlas even though we're out we're taking full damage from this stuff because we just have these guys have such positioning advantage on us right now i mean just look at this we're just down here in this valley what i should have done is taken the opportunity and the time to swing up around here and uh that would have really been uh, the thing to do but i've been i've been getting cocky here and that is probably not smart so we're going I'm going to push on this uh, PBC carrier because I want him position. dead. I want him dead. Not great shots, but we're taking them. Okay, we hit with it. Nice. Good job, Glitch. Okay, and that takes, a, that takes uh, probably the biggest threat that was left Move off down. the battlefield. It's go time. Our king crab is <laughs> it's soaked up some hits. I mean, Good to go. for sure. Okay, so we've got a 65 tonner, another 65 tonner, and uh, a, a quick draw, which I believe is 60 tons. Does it tell you? It doesn't actually tell you up here uh, unless they're off the screen, which is very interesting. Okay, but anyway, let's uh, let's obliterate. He's not gonna like this a whole lot, I don't think. Not gonna love it. <laughs> so once that guy's dead, these other guys are gonna have to move in on us, uh, and that'll give us a chance okay, to. That was That'll that'll give us a chance to um uh not just be pummeled by them because they're just using a spotter and then uh um yeah let's 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 end it against this guy let's just do because I don't need any quick draw pieces I mean if I have some then I'll you know finish whatever max I can um, but yeah let's just finish him off and make these other guys come to us. Yeah, so now either one of us, one of them is going to have to sensor lock us. Or they're going to have to come in. <laughs> Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Receiving you. Okay, um, now go. that is something of a concern. We might want to Vigilance and, um, yeah, let's Vigilance with her so she, um, gains her stability back 
and we'll move up on this guy and start giving him uh, giving him what for. Commencing alpha strike. Yeah, we've got enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, the the difficulty of this one is definitely definitely pretty good. I th think. Oh man, I mean. I don't think this other guy, you know, he's gone. Yeah, he's already gone. So I'm going to move, I'm actually going to move out and then just kind of hope that we can um, do enough damage to these guys before um, I can't actually get somewhere where we have an unobstructed shot. Okay, never mind, I can. And I still be in, in cover too, which is nice. Uh, yeah, fire the AC-20s. Copy that. Oh, there we go. Scored a critical hit. And well, he lost a bunch of his missiles. Oh, took a heavy hit there. Yes, Commander. Okay. Let's give this guy some from downtown here. I copy. Love my fire sport. Eat that. Well, now we've pretty much neutered that, that guy. Good. He's got nothing left. He's got nothing left. I do like those catapult mechs. Not so much when they're pummeling me. But I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yeah, I can I can see that glitch. Commander. Um let's move glitch up and shoot at this other clown. Uh get to work on him. Yeah, because I believe between Blave and um uh Behemoth, uh, this guy's wrecked. Eat this. Okay, we actually did pretty good damage to that guy all around, so... We did pretty good damage to that guy all around. Okay, I'm gonna move Behemoth up first to take the, uh, to take the inaugural shots. Actually, can we just... What's, um, what's his torso looking like? Not great. I don't want to overheat just to do this. That said, this isn't gonna kill him. But it will piss him off. <laughs> no. It, it should... Um, well, I'm going to take the shot at the center torso and uh, let's see what happens here. We might get the... On. Okay, we've taken it down quite a dang bit. Um, I'm not worried about... Yeah, just hang out there, Behemoth. I don't, you don't need to move. Um, we can take our Gauss rifle and... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, not a precision strike, sorry. Multi-target. Oh, I guess I need to adjust my situation just slightly. Then I'm going to multi-target, give that guy that, and give this guy everything else. Maybe we manage to blow up this guy's center torso with that stuff. We'll find out. Oh man, almost blew up that guy's center torso with it. Nice. Nice. Enemy mech destroyed. That's what I like to see. Alright, we've turned the tide here. For sure. Okay, she can she can weather this. She can weather this. Standing by. I don't think that this guy is going to be able to weather uh, even this. I think he's toast. Wow. Score I can't believe we didn't just blow up his center torso. It's kind of incredible sometimes how 
you know, little you'll hit the center torso. Waiting okay, this one is glitches. This one's glitches. Wait, why can't we get any closer? Okay, somehow you can't get around this little thing, so sadly, it is not glitches. Precision strike this guy's center torso and be done with it. Eat this. Yeah. So, we got pretty beat up. That was... We, we definitely have got to be more uh, tactical about uh, our engagements. When... When, in, when we are in an unfavorable position, we got to get out of there. We got to make sure that we are engaging from places where we are uh, well defended, our entire lance. We were taking way too many, way, way too many shots where we were just out in the open. And it doesn't matter how heavy our guys are, you just can't do that. You just can't do that. Mission successful. Um, so, I mean, we, we managed to in the end, overwhelm them with uh, our superior firepower, but whoo doggies, that one got that one got kind of hairy. I mean, we nearly lost some some stuff that just would have really really devastated us. Okay, so we got paid diddly squat. So hopefully we're going to be able to make that up uh, on the next one. You know, that's interesting. We got very we got nothing, no kills with uh, our stalker on that one. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, is is that not uh, doing uh, what we needed to do? Uh, we will need to evaluate that. I, I, I feel like it's still doing a really good job for us. It's certainly whittling people down at the very least. So, let's look at our Highlander. Yes, we do. We've got two pieces of this, so we only really need one, right? We can also make a quick draw. Um, that is probably a good idea. Let's see what these guys have for us. Um, AC 20 plus plus, that's going to give us accuracy. That could be good. Um, ooh, these give plus 10 damage. That's pretty nice. Plus four accuracy PPC. The injury mod, I don't know if we need that. I don't know if we need that. These don't look like there's anything special down here. So in terms of money, this is probably going to get us about a million. My, I don't actually know. I don't think I've sold a heavy mac yet. So I'm guessing if I, if I just had to guess since the mediums give you around about 500,000, this might be 750. So I think that that's probably worth getting just to sell. Um, we could grab this Highlander again, because then I would only need to, you know, if we encounter another one, I could try to, you know, leg it. And then I would be able to get yet another one, get another 2 million. So that's probably actually the, the right call there. Um, then possibly these, yeah, possibly these lasers. Cause I am actually using a lot of medium lasers. And possibly even over the Highlander because I'm possibly over the second Highlander, you know, the, the bonus Highlander, because then I don't know if I need the, the plus four accuracy AC 20, although that would actually be nice. Wouldn't it? I think it, I don't know. We're hitting pretty well with those, aren't we? Do I want damage or do I want accuracy? I want damage. I want damage, baby. Okay. Okay, so that gives us two more mechs that we have completed. Ooh, we got the, the AC 20 plus plus anyway. Nice. And we got a catapult, so if we ever encounter another one, we can get two more pieces of it. So I do believe that I will sell um I will sell those two mechs. I don't think we need a a backup Highlander. Um, we can check it out and see if we get lucky and it like has some double heat sinks in it. That would be really cool. <laughs> like if they just come like that, that'd be amazing. That mech but something tells me that, mech is ready to fight, Commander. that is not the case. So we'll take a look at Rooney. And 
and um, and see what we're dealing with. Um, yeah, doesn't look like there's anything uh, super nice in there, just standard fare. So let's go ahead and send that one to storage and send that one to storage. And I am really, I'm really tempted guys with the, the battle master and the awesome as well, just to generate some more uh, money. Okay, so what is that going to give us here? If I go and I sell these, black market selling. Okay, so, oh, the awesome is only gonna sell for about 800,000. The quick draw for 600, the Highlander for, the Highlander and the Battlemaster round about a million. So not as much as I would like. Definitely sell the quick draw. Um, and let's definitely sell the Highlander. Let's do that. And man, I really like the Highlander and the, uh, I mean, I really like the awesome and the Battlemaster, but I, I just don't see a use for them at this particular moment. So I think that they go, I think they go. Okay. So that puts us up to basically where we could be um where we could be buying that gauss rifle but we would need a little bit more money um and i don't think that we're going to be able to just come up with it i mean i could sell some of these things like i don't really need any like standard ac20s so i could just sell i mean i could sell at least most of those um, I could sell a bunch of these large lasers. Um, uh, LRM fives. I don't think we're going to use any of those. We could sell at least most of them. LRM tens. We could sell most of those, but I mean, this is, this is just going to get us a little bit more. We got a ton of medium lasers. Look at all this. Um, we could sell, I don't know, a whole bunch of these. Um, but yeah, then, then all this stuff is pretty cheap. A couple of PP, we can sell some PPCs, right? We don't need a regular PPCs. Probably not going to use any of these. Yeah. I mean, so there, there's some more money to be had here for sure. Let's sell some of these SRM fours. I can't imagine that we're going to use any of those regular SRM sixes. Probably not going to use any of those. So we're getting, we're up to over 7 million now. Uh, and then this is just equipment. We've got 84 heat sinks. Let's sell almost, I mean, let's sell like, I don't know, something like 65 of them. Um... LRM ammos. I mean, the, most of the stuff is just really, really cheap. It's not going to give us a whole bunch of stuff. But, I mean, that's basically all the stuff we can sell, right? Uh, there's not a whole lot of other stuff in here that is worth much money. A couple of these LRM 15s we could sell, right? We could sell at least six of those. That's another 135 grand. So we've got enough money. I would probably feel a little bit more comfortable if we did um, one more mission especially since we're going to have some repair costs uh, associated with that last mission because we were uh, beat up a little bit. Let's go ahead and have a look here. Uh, repair, uh, 600 bucks in a day. So that one didn't get too beat up. Uh, 6,600 bucks in a day, not too bad. And 1,200 bucks in a day. So I mean, we obviously, uh, that's not too expensive. That was, that was pretty cheap. Um, and even though, even though, we took uh, the brunt of the um, uh, the tanking with the the king crab. We still uh, came out of it uh, without having our armor our armor pierced. So um, Behemoth really did a really did a phenomenal job uh, doing what she was. But I mean, we did we managed that one pretty poorly. We really did. We really did. So we can take a quick look at our contracts here. We're not going to jump right into one. So we've got some fives. We haven't done a five skull yet. 
Um, we certainly could. There's some destroy base and bush convoy. Um, I would be more inclined. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe I should just take salvage on all these. Because, I mean, maybe maybe just getting the max and selling them is going to be better than, uh, you know, a million bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that, that's probably, you know, honestly, that's probably the case. Um, but, yeah, I think we do one more mission. We get just a little bit more money, and we get that other Gauss rifle. And then, like I said, uh, well, I can't really point it out too well, but what we probably do is we outfit, we outfit the Atlas, a, you know, very similarly to the Highlander. We're, we put the Gauss rifle on it in place of the AC-20, um, we get a little bit more gout. We get some gauss ammo for it, of course. And we put uh, LRM-20 on it. And maybe an LRM-10 as well. You know, give it some really long, give it some good long range firepower. Um, and turn, turn this thing into something that can do some tanking if it needs to. You know, we can move it up and really support the king crab if, if it's getting a little too hairy because this is still a super heavy mech but it's slow and it, it can stay kind of you know medium range and uh, really really dish out some punishing firepower because we've seen the power of that gauss rifle man it can really really do some really do some nice nice work so maybe maybe outfit it a little bit more like the highlander i don't know maybe i should have kept that highlander and just just to outfit something else like that and then uh, sideline the Atlas. Maybe that's what I really should have done. Maybe. So maybe if I grab another Highlander, that's what I'll do. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, I don't know why I'm hanging on to this catapult. I could sell the catapult. You know what? I might just sell the catapult. Um, and then that would give me enough money to just travel straight to Mechter and uh, do those changes. Hmm. I don't know. That is something for me to think about, and uh, I will be thinking about that. I mean, we, either way, we have to do another contract because Lady Arano has not um, has not engaged us yet. Usually, she waits for us to do two missions. Uh, that seems to be it. You know, it seems to be story mission, and then like two missions, I think, and then she gets back to us. That 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 is usually the case. Oftentimes, I felt rushed, but now. You know, we're not we're not really trying to build up too much. I think that we are as far as the story goes, it seems like we are much more powerful than we need to be. At least based on the last um at least based on the last story mission, we really just went in there and stomped it and we stomped it flat. Um I I don't love the fact that I've only got four mechs. One thing that I am going to do is start thinking about a couple of ways that I could build another lance that is, that maybe, maybe has a couple of other um, aspects to it or a couple of other, couple of other options. Uh, because right now this thing is just kind of a heavy blunt force instrument and that's really all we got going for us that's the really the only thing we can do uh we <laughs> we certainly aren't like a fast strike lance i don't think we would do very well in an escort mission which is why i strayed away from that one because i don't think we would be able to keep up with what we were escorting um because we are we're pretty slow we're pretty slow so you know, maybe I need to get some, um, maybe I need to get some heavier mechs. Uh, we could look in here, um, you know, possibly, uh, a Marauder, maybe a Black Knight, you know, a couple of these things, maybe keep the catapult around, um, you know, and maybe outfit a Heavy Lance, uh, and, and have that, you know, in, in kind of reserve for situations where we need something a little bit lighter. I don't know if that's ever going to arise, but we might, 
we might run into that. We might run into that. So um, hopefully I won't regret having sold all of my other mechs off. Because clearly, you know, uh, the, you know, we've got two full bays and, uh, uh, for mechs, and then there's a third bay that we can upgrade to uh, for having like all sorts of different mechs at our disposal. Disposal. But right now <laughs> I've got four, and I'm like, oh, I'm good with these. I'm good with these. So uh, I don't know. We've got a lot to think about between now and uh, the next uh, the next episode. In all probability, we in all probability since um, since we have to do another mission, I'm probably just going to do one of the ones here, get a little bit more money, and then we're going to get the uh, get the summons from Lady Arano. But before we do that, we're going to take whatever we get here and go to Mechter and buy that Gauss rifle because I really want it. Even if, even if I don't do what I was saying I wanted to do with the Atlas, I really want that weapon because it's going to give us a couple more tons to play around with on the Highlander. Well, whatever I want to do, um, it, it will give us a couple more tons to play around with. Um, and also... I didn't, uh, I didn't do it, but we do need to go into either the Atlas or the Highlander and put those nice, fancy new um, medium lasers that we got um, onto it, onto either one of those because uh, those were nice lasers. Those were nice lasers, and we just have stock lasers on the Highlander, and I think we might have something a little bit better than that on that on one of the atlas lasers but i don't know i don't know i can't remember anyway i digress so we're probably going to be here on the next one but we might uh if if it's not a very interesting one then i might uh skip it and we'll go on to um we'll go on to the story mission so i guess it all depends on the next one but that was a pretty that was a pretty intense that was a pretty intense mercenary contract um, and I think that the four and a half skull and the five ones are going to be that way since we haven't done a five skull and it looks like we're going to do a five skull I think that it's probably going to be um, I think it's probably going to be fun to um, to record that one so anyway as always thanks so much for watching and we're going to be picking up right here next time